I'm a, I'm a little bit late. How's John doing recently? Living life? Enjoying it? How's the farming business? Good? How's the relationship with the road? <laughs> I like the roll of the eyes. I like the roll of the eyes. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Family. It's like a soap opera. It's, it's, like, it's like a lifetime game. Call this meeting to order. Uh, this is the February 5th meeting, I think uh, 2013. Somebody says 12 on here. Uh, it is 13. We will conduct business on the 13th, on the, uh, during the 13th year anyway. Uh, before we get into the meat of business, I want to welcome Mr. McCall to the meeting. New member. Uh, welcome to the parade. Thank you. Uh, first case we'll call is Lowndes County case VAR 2013-01, Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Maluda, 4249 Williams School Lane. You would please come to the... Are we going to have the staff present the case first? I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> staff needs to present the case, yes. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. If you don't mind me sitting here? No, I, I don't have a problem at all. Thank you. Anybody else have a problem? Okay. All right, our first case today is a request by Miss Elizabeth Maluda. She has property on Williams School Lane. She's requesting uh, variances to our design standards for single family homes. As you can see on the front first page of your staff report um, that's highlighted, she's requesting variances to our minimum building width. Um, the requirement is 21 feet. The minimum roof pitch, the 312 roof pitch, she's requesting the variance, the overhang, the exterior siding, and the skirting. While the R1 zoning will allow for a second dwelling unit, um, dwelling units has, has, must meet certain minimum standards, as I just referred to you. Ms. Maluda has a home that she already owns um, that's in Lakeland, um, which is a single wide. It doesn't meet our 21 foot requirement as well as those other requirements. She would like to move that home on to this property. The slide there shows the proposed home. The area um, within School Lane is just a mixture of single family homes, be it site built homes, double wise, single wise. So staff felt that what she's doing is, is not out of scale with what's already going on in that area. So with that, staff made a recommendation of approval, citing criteria D of the standard. And I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And if I remember right from my paperwork, the staff is, is recommending approval of all of the requests, citing D in this case. That's correct. Do you want to have any questions or anything from the board at this time? Questions, discussion. If you would like to give us any other additional information, anything you want us to take into consideration, please come to the lectern. I need your name and address for the record. I'm Elizabeth Maluna, 4249 Lane. I'm currently in the trailer that that neighbor now because I was taking care of both my parents, which have both now passed. Actually, Carmel said everything I wanted to say as far as um, what I want to do. Okay, and you intend to live in this trailer? 
flavor yes. layer or you intend to rent it to somebody else? No, I want to rent in the trailer itself and the house just keep us storage. I want to even dis I want to disconnect like the sewage, you know, and hook my trailer up because I just want that for storage. It's going to cost me way too much money to fix that house. This trailer that I already own is going to be self-contained and I can just move it right in, which where all my stuff is now. And this there, I don't want to rent. I want to be the sole person on my land and start my life now. Okay. How old is the house? You know, the house is already there. I really don't know. It's been there from what I hear from the 50s. It, per the neighbors now, it's been there for many years. I think they told me once it was actually going to be a barn. And then the people turned it into a house. It's an old structure, old frame. I don't have a lot of history on it, though. But I do know it's pretty sturdy. The whole base is sturdy. Uh, of course, I have new roof and siding put on it when we originally thought we were going to live there. Um, well, my brother wants up there, but he passed as well. But um, the inside is a lot of fixture, electric, just just a lot more than I personally see what can do. Okay. But I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know how old it is. I just, I'm just looking at the picture. It looks like it's yeah, probably in a way to be from the if I had any roof on it, it was kind of a, uh, one of those metal roofs. That is, how old would you say that roof is? Let's see, my dad bought the place in 2004, um, and I'm going to say, we, no, excuse me, 2006, so we put it on maybe 2008. And that was a relatively new roof. Any other questions, discussions from the board at this time? I would like to ask this. Is this property zoned where if we approve her moving this mobile home home property, that later on down the road she can rent this house? Yes. So it's already zoned for that. Yes, yes ma'am. But I know that I will watch. Well, excuse me. Yes, sir. My name is Brendan Luke. I'm the brother and sister here in Luke. And on behalf of um, known her for 45 years, she don't want nobody next to her, and they would can be written in statements that the fact that it would never be rented out or no other residence at all in one person dwelling with herself there. Well, if I she's mean, zoned, she could do it. I mean, you know, that, she's okay to do it too Well, I bought yeah. two rentals from my dad, and I've had rental people in my rentals, and I know that I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've been through the bad side. Okay. Okay. And another thing on behalf of is um, the, where the dwelling is right now that she's living in is over in Naylor, or well, Lakeland Naylor, the one that don't pot there, the grass. It is on the um, the residence where my parents live, and that they both have passed my dad first year. year. Um, we it's an estate, and we are going to sell the property, so it will need to be moved, and she has no place to go with this as well too. So we will have to either move it on that's her property and leave it unhooked up. And then, you know, see if we can take out a loan or something and try to manufacture a house, put it together where we can. And it's just the cost of repairs today is way exceeding the level. We can hook this single wide trailer up there for her. And it's all paid for. She's a landowner. She owes nothing on these places. And we'd like to, if we can do that, that would really help us as well. Any other questions? Any other discussion? Is there anyone else here in support <laughs> of this application? I think everybody's in agreement to support it. Is there anybody here in opposition or have a question about this request? Was there any response to your office? No, sir. Okay. Any questions, any discussion from the board at this time? <clears throat> I make a motion to approve. I second that. I second, second motion. Second criteria D. For Mr. Alvarado to grant the request as presented, I have second from Ms. Corman. The request citing criteria D, I have second from Ms. Corman. All in favor, please raise a hand. Unanimous, good luck with it. Thank you very much. You just changed my life. <laughs> Not a problem. I do appreciate it. Move it out here so they can settle your state. Thank you very much. Do right. that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Was there anything okay. else? Okay. No, the only thing you need to do is.
touch base in the office to make sure that you get copies of whatever paperwork you need so that you can get excuse me, you can get your power water sewer or whatever hooked up, get your health department, I think health department doesn't have to come out and say something. They'll they'll walk you through it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. There is no second case because we are in receipt of a request for Cracker Barrel to postpone until the March meeting. No one will be here. Uh, telephone call with Ms. Obama said if we wanted to act, we could, but uh, I don't really like acting without somebody here to at least acknowledge the process or whatever. So unless somebody on the board disagrees, I'm going to request a motion to postpone until March meeting. Move to postpone until the next meeting. I have motion, Mr. Alvarado. Do I hear second? Second. Who was that? Uh, Dr. Housel was second. All in favor, please raise a hand. Unanimous, thank you very much. Uh, we have other business approval of the minutes for December 4th. Anybody seen anything in there? I have motion from Mr. Orstein to approve. Do I get second? Second. Second is Foreman. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous, thank you very much. Any new business, any old business, city, county we need to talk about? No, sir. I believe that, does everyone have an updated copy of the member, members list? All the current members? No. No. Well, we, yeah, you have one. We've got a special copy here. Yes. Okay. Uh, being that we did not have a January meeting, don't we have to vote on chair and vice chair? Nominations were made. Did, did we, we nominated in no, well, in November, December, we nominated. In December. It was December, we nominated. So I need a motion on. I added agenda item to elect chair and vice chair for the year 2013. I move to. No, we elected them. We made a motion to elect the slate of officers that was presented. In okay, December. so it was November and December they were elected. Yeah, we did that. Congratulations. Hey, I'm old. <laughs> I'm getting senile, which is why he's trying to resign from this board. Man, I'm to give y'all one more chance. Okay. So strike that from the minutes, please. <laughs> Any other business we need to discuss? I don't have anything. Again, thank you very much for agreeing to join us. Absolutely. Uh, it can get exciting. It can get boring. <laughs> I started to say they're not all this short. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your ability to come today, your attention and whatnot. We stand adjourned. Thank you. Yeah, that was easy. That was a good one, but I'm not going to say we're all like that. Do you want these five to hand them out next time? Yes, if you'll keep those still. Still. Okay, if you give them to you, can you just bring them back and I'll forget? I have Alzheimer's. What if you want to give them back to me? I'll keep them.